Right guys Somebody asked about the ice axe <coughs> Excuse me Now I'm in a wee gully here, wee snow filled gully This snow's been lying for weeks and weeks, it's solid like ice This is just quick Nothing expert, just the ice axe basics That's an ice axe Okay Just a straight bar ice axe It's got a head like that and it's for a few things, you can use it like a walking stick Point away from you For when you're going up, you can put it in the ice, check depths uh, In the snow, you can Just use it for balance, you can use it to sit against <coughs> And hold your position, you can whack it in And carabiner your kit onto it If you're taking a break, that's a carabiner It's just a clip, a, a kind of weight bearing climbing item so an ice axe, you'll notice how steep I am because I'm walking in the sides of my boots like this, right? This is how I'm walking. So basically, I used it the other night in that steep climb in the dark. There wasn't any snow. The reason I used it, <coughs> I was effectively all fours to the cliff, to the face of the hill. And I would have a length of rope here, a short length onto my, my forearm on the same arm as the axe is I don't want to lose the axe and I don't want to place the axe my hand slips and I fall down and I leave the axe in position because it won't once the axe is in right, you can hold your weight 10 stone 14 stone right, you can, it will hold you if it's got a good purchase now it's not a life saving de device it's not going to but it, there's a good chance with a bit of luck and if the gods are in your favour it can change the outcome of a slip Now, I don't want to go into too much detail I'll leave it for another day because if I'm sliding, right, if I'm climbing like this and I slip and I fall, my legs come away from me if I've got that in my hand down and in a climate helmet on you can basically fall on top of it like this head away from the axe you don't want any eye injuries or facial injuries from that it's solid sharp steel your ice axe is always very sharp so you protect it with your hand over the top you can take bruised bones but you don't want to fall on top of it so head away uh, I'm trying to do it all so you can see so basically we go in you fall and you be Head away from it, keep digging it in, you'll slide, you'll eventually hopefully come to a stop. That's the whole point of the ice axe. You get shorter designed ones with a bend in the arm and that's for guys uh, ice climbing waterfalls. They basically, these guys are ninjas. Uh, it's not my thing, I'm not into it. And basically, yeah, that's just an old standard ice axe, nothing fancy. And if you fall backwards, okay, and if I do it, I'm going to slide all the way down because this is really steep. If I fall backwards, I want to get that in. Right, hold on, and I'll spin, and I can hang on, and then I want to turn and get down onto the ice and spread my weight. Now, if I'm wearing crampons, which I'm not today, if you were on really heavy snow and you had crampons, they're spikes for your feet attached to your boots and uh, you get walking crampons, you get climbing crampons slightly different angle of the teeth if you've got on crampons and you're sliding the, the human tendency is to dig your feet in if I'm going down the way you'll put your feet down if your downward force is pushing you steep on a proper incline and you dig a crampon in on the way down your ankle's going to snap like butter because your body weight's still going to go down the crampon's going to stop your feet dead you're going to roll over the top of your own ankles so when you're sliding it's basically ankles up on your knees and your thighs you basically get your ankles up if you're wearing cramp crampons you don't want to dig your feet in when you're sliding downhill on mud or grass or anything because your ankle will just bend over and snap then you've got problems something to think about 
99% of you will never ever be in this situation uh, and the one percent or the less than one percent that are hopefully your drills are good as I say I'm not an expert with an ice axe it's a tool that I use infrequently but the other night it was the very first thing I thought about because I know the steepness and I just wanted to know it's in my right hand my strong hand I can whack it right in if I slip and I can stop myself slipping so on the steepest part of the climb the ice axe was right there uh, you know it's under your backpack like that point up head down you just whip it out get it on your lan lanyard clip your carabiner to yourself and away you go that's the basics of the axe and it's a you know it's a good tool you can see on the way down you know you can you can do the same on the way down if you're helping yourself that is a good tool to have definitely I can dig that in and I can sit here I can clip myself onto that and know that that's going to hold me here I can sit and eat, drink a cup of tea my backpack's not going to slide through 300 metres or 100 metres and down over a gully and fall 500 metres you don't want to lose any kit in a mountainside so there you go guys that's the ice axe alright